after their initial fight date slated to go down June 1st was postponed due to a knee injury incurred by the injury-prone Artur Berbiev, the much-anticipated undisputed light heavyweight showdown between Artur Berbiev and Dmitry Bivol is finally upon us, and at the time of uploading this video is only weeks away from headlining a star-studded fight card at the Kingdom Arena, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Saturday the 12th of October. A fight card that features Australian IBF cruiserweight champion Jai Opatia, fellow Aussie and WBC featherweight champ Sky Nicholson. A no doubt thrilling second instalment all action rematch between the United Kingdom's Fabio Wardley and Fraser Clark, rising star Ben Whitaker, Chris Eubank Jr., and much more. The winner of Better Be Evan Bivol will be the first to fully unify the 175 pound division and the first ever in the four belt era since Roy Jones Jr. fully unified against Reggie Johnson back before the turn of the new millennium. Ooh. It's an exciting matchup, so let's get into it, but first, this. Let me ask you, do you want to be in the moment and not just capture the moment? Well, let Xbot Go's AI sports cameraman empower your smartphone. The industrial grade computer vision algorithms and tracking system intuitively identifies the focal point on the field, let's say a ball or a player, and autonomously tracks it with smooth and professional zooms and pans. Next time little Timmy is on the soccer pitch or Julie is at gymnastics, you can watch on knowing the Xbox Go will capture the action with accuracy as you watch on and cheer for your loved one. Using Follow Me 2.0, Xbot Go applies re-identification technology to identify and lock onto athletes by appearance, body shape, and jersey number. It's great for sports like soccer, basketball, hockey, football, rugby, lacrosse, and so much more. Activate Follow Me and record yourself as you train, then watch it back for some analysis. You can even live stream and the Xbox Go app allows you to edit your content as you go with up to 20 gigabytes of storage. Xbox Go is the only one consumption grade AI product that can realize team sports tracking and recording with such precision and professionalism. Don't just record the moment, be in the moment. Act now, click the referral link in the description section below. By doing so, you can also take advantage of an exclusive discount. Don't forget to also check out Xbox Go's official website for more information on their products, accessories, and the latest Xbox Go news and updates. Let's get back to the video. IBF, WBC, and WBO light heavyweight champ Artur Berbiev is no stranger to injury, and some injuries on certain parts of the body are more problematic for boxers than others. Shoulders, hand and wrist fractures are a couple of examples, but the knee is one particularly sensitive area that once damaged can be compromised for the remainder of a fighter's career and severely restrict motion and movement. Better BF has had knee problems in the past, but the moment he blew out his meniscus earlier this year may have just been the moment that he handed his opponent, Bivol, yet one more advantage going into their showdown. At almost 40 years of age, Berbiev was already giving up his age, and the last thing his injury-ravaged body needed was another hamstring to handicap his movement against the fighter that is most comfortable moving and fighting from the outside. Darting in and out, shifting laterally and alternating rhythm and pace are some of the features that Berbiev will be confronted with when he steps in a ring with Bivol. With savvy footwork of his own, Artur is no mindless plotter. He is a thinker. He can set traps, cut off the ring, as well as burst through the front door of an opponent with his freakish power. I do wonder though, if yet another knee injury, even after rehabilitation, has tipped the odds firmly over to Bivol. IBO WBA 175 pound champ Dmitry Bivol will need to enter this fight treating Better Bev with the utmost respect. Respect for Better Bev's not always obvious, ring craft and savvy, but moreover, respect for Artur's power. As skilled a boxer and mover as Bivol is, he can be touched. It's happened numerous times. Lyndon Arthur and Joe Smith Jr. are two examples of fighters getting Bivol's attention after Bivol momentarily showed a lapse in focus and defense. 
On both occasions, it was off a solitary shot. In one instance, a shot to the body, and the other, in Smith Jr.'s case, a ride to the head, right on the bell at the end of the round. Bivol is an expert at controlling distance, but if he switches off even for a second and lets Better Bev in, where Better Bev likes to be in the pocket, then I can assure you Better Bev only needs one shot to the head or body to close the night out. The question is, given the amount of time Better Bev has spent on rehabilitating his damaged knee, is it fair to say that he has not had the ideal training camp and preparation for a technical and tactical boxer of Bivol's pedigree? If I'm wrong, I'm happy to ask my Haitian neighbor to watch my cat while I'm at work. But I am making a lot of Better Bev's knee because I think it's a crucial aspect in this fight. Has the knee rehabilitation stymied his preparation and will it stifle his movement on fight night? In the training videos, Better Bev looks good, but how will his knee perform on the night? Will Artur's knee hamper his ability to rotate and pivot in order to generate power? As for Bivol, everyone is expecting him to box and move, get in range, fire off swift, accurate punches and bunches before exiting back and circling away. But what if he flips the script and decides to take the approach of, say, Australia's own Liam Paro against another dangerous puncher with a 100% stoppage win ratio in his win column, Subriel Matias? Paro stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Subriel when he had to, boxed and clinched at other times. Paro had enough power to get Subriel's respect. Can Bivol get Artur's respect? Bivol stopped his last opponent, Malik Zinad, his first stoppage win in six or seven years. Against Zinad, Bivol was aggressive and looking to land hard shots on his replacement opponent. Was that the original plan for Better Bev? Personally, I had Bivol winning this matchup from day one, but it's more clear to me now that Better Bev is older and given yet another injury to overcome, it just casts more doubt over him. I don't think Bivol has the power to stop Better Bev. Mind you, Better Bev has touched the canvas numerous times, but I do think Bivol gets a unanimous decision win on the night. Let us know in the comments below who you think wins and how. Thank you for watching Pound for Pound TV. Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for future updates. See you in the next one.